Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, we want to learn how we can download, store, and import a 3D model or avatar to our scene in runtime in Unity. Okay, let's that uh, we should have a plugin which called Trilip, which is you can find out this uh, plugin on the asset store unity.com it is trilly 2 model loading package it is very uh, powerful uh, plugin to uh, import a 3d model with a range of uh, formats as you can see fbx obj gltf2 stl play and 3mf and also the pack model with the textures as a zip file and it is cross-platform which is works in on Windows, Mac, Linux, UWP, uh, Android, WebGL, iOS and also I tested uh, on Oculus Quest and it worked well. Remember uh, your Unity version has to be 2019.3.0 or higher. After you buy this uh, powerful plugin from Asset Store and import it to your package, in, into your uh, project, uh, you should come here, Trilip, and as you can see, it has several uh, folders, which is uh, maybe the best one is, for example, Trilip Samples. As you can see, it is as Asset Viewer, Avatar Loader load extra animations so we can import a 3d model even which has the animation such as fbx animated models all load model from file which is you can uh, give the address of the 3d model uh, as a script of it or in here you have from file picker and let me to do something like this okay for example I click on load model and in here I click uh, this model and that's it it is a pillow and it works well and this is my 3d model okay it is perfect as a one 3d model and uh, it is the uh, material of this 3d model okay or even you can uh, give uh, you can upload that zip file or that 3d model and the uh, storage and you can give the link of the 3d model then after that uh, it tries to download the 3D model and show it in runtime. For example, I use this website, filebin.net. In this website, you can upload a uh, an object and uh, it gives you the direct link and also it can export, uh, it can uh, store your 3D model or your file for maximum six days. And for example, I uploaded this 3D model, right click, copy link address, and in here I gave this uh, link as a this format, the uh, HDFS uh, file bin.net, and this one, a model.zip. The name model, the name of model, and the format of it is really important. And finally, I will downloading as you can see it's downloading a 3d model and after finish yes it's created a 3d pillow which is exactly was similar with my original model but uh, I want to talk about another feature which is doesn't exist in this plugin so for example and the URL site and the URL sample all the time you need to download the 3d model you can't cache this 3d model on your storage and in the next time uh, you have to download this 3d model but with caching this 3d model on the storage you don't need to download just load it from 
storage. Okay, let's to create a simple C sharp script. I called this one model downloader. Let's take a look at this model downloader. Model downloader. As you can see in here, we have two parts. First, download the three D model and the, the file and store it and save it as a zip file on your storage. And the next part is how to do, uh, how to load the 3D model from the storage from that address we have saved that zip file. Okay. Now we have uh, these libraries system.io, unitengine.networking, Trilip Core and system.collection generic and Trilip Core.sfb. In here we have public string URL that URL we uh, uploaded the 3D model there and in here we have private iList item with a stream dot items it is for uh, as you can see for loading the 3D model from local storage and in here first let's uh, let's to download the zip file and save it as a zip file on our storage in the void start we have start curtain download zip file and this is zip file in here we have two checkers if we already have the zip file on our storage okay just load the 3d model we don't need to download look at this file that exists this is the address of our application storage on our uh, PC, it will be on Windows, it will be like this. Yes. Drive Windows, C, Users, Your Profile, App Data, Local Low, Company Name Folder, and Project Name Folder. As you can see, we don't have anything here. So, in this if, we will say, uh, if the file uh, with this address from this address and this name and this format is already exist okay we already have target zip file exists so load the 3d model from storage if it is not exist file that exist application and persistent data path it is the address and zip file name dot zip is an doesn't exist okay target zip file doesn't exist try to download it in here unity web request www equal unity web request dot get dot url that url we have uploaded there and in here yell return www dot send and in here if we have any error okay let's um, print that error if we don't have any error okay it will be the format of the save path and uh, in here uh, we have address file name and the format okay we have save path and now file dot write all bytes save path and in here www.downloadhandler.data as a zip file so we have checker we already have the low and the zip file now okay let's to download it if we download is successful let's to save the zip file on our storage okay we already have our target zip file and target zip file downloaded let's download the uh, let's load the model from local storage it is the next part in here we have void load model start loading zip file in here we have uh, in, in these parts are really uh, similar to the standard template of the asset downloader of the trilip library but let's take a look at it very fast uh, we have our has files it is the items which we want to uh, load and stream there and here asset loader options asset loader dot create default loader options and in here asset loader zip dot load model from zip file 
this is the address this is the name and this is the format of our zip file unload on uh, on materials load on progress on error and other options of the loading model from zip file and that's it with this mechanism we can download a zip file and, and save it as a zip file on our storage after that we can load the 3d model from our local storage okay let's test this technique with together for example in this scene from url i say let's create an empty object say model um, downloader okay and let's turn off this standard method and add the model downloader here as you can see it is model downloader and it has just a url variable this is a string i want to copy this url from here and paste it here perfect and remember in this address we don't have any zip file okay now i want to play start target zip file doesn't exist start downloading zip file it is downloading okay as you can see target zip file downloaded start loading zip file and it is the loading from local storage materials loaded model loaded uh, fully loaded and it is it it is our 3d model has been downloaded and store it from url and that's it it is our zip file name which is here it contains gltf and the bean and also the textures okay now in the next time i want to stop the game and i don't want to delete this one now when i play the scene as you can see it's down, uh, loaded very fast because target zip file exists okay let's do uh, load the 3d model from storage that's it okay uh, i will share this uh, script on my uh, github and you can see this uh, the link of this in github page on the wiki page and uh, as a in the description of this video i hope this video be this video will be helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like it and uh, feel free to ask any question on the comments have a great time bye bye